the Mississippi River, father of waters, discharges at its mouth about 900 billion cubic yards annually. With this little trickle, in Lake Atosca, it begins its long trek to the sea. Think of it. A cup of water picked up here is abruptly checked on a journey of 2,546 miles to the Gulf of Mexico, which it has just begun. And we have visitors that come from around the world. There's over a half a million visitors every year that step across the rocks, the very rocks behind me. For 10,000 years here at Itasca, we have had people who have used the river and the lake. It's provided a road corridor uh, for them as they canoed this area and the forest and all the natural resources provided them for food. Itasca established in 1891 as Minnesota's oldest state park, and it was set aside to protect not only the Mississippi River, but to protect the forest and the lakes surrounding the headwaters in order to keep that river corridor clean. And so you can travel through Itasca and still see a primeval forest and learn about bald eagles, loons, and the wildlife that existed for hundreds of years in this site. when they asked me the story of Itasca's history and how did we come to be, they thought you know, it was all because they were logging the pine. Well, that's part of the story. But actually, the story goes back to Henry Rowe Schoolcraft. After he was here in 1832, he wrote his journal. It was the first accounting of someone finding the headwaters. Well, all that did was it opened up other people who wanted to prove him wrong. However, the Minnesota Historical Society commissioned a man named Jacob Brower to come and survey the basin and find out, is this true? Who is correct? But it was only here behind me uh, that the surface flow and volume was continual and constant and large enough to float a boat. So he concluded that Schoolcraft was correct, but when he was here marching through the woods, measuring every stream and creek, he fell in love with this vast pine forest. He saw how quickly Minnesota was being logged off, and he wanted to protect and preserve it. However, Brower himself had served in the state legislature. He knew the process. He started putting feelers out, proposing the bill. He waited until the spring of 1891, and he proposed the bill of establishing a state park. There was only one other state park in existence at that time in the United States, and that was Niagara Falls. And so he thought, we need to do something similar to preserve these water systems. He got enough support, they took it to the legislature, they voted, and it passed by one vote. From observation towers and other points of vantage, impressive vistas of the 34,469 acres in the park may be had. Itasca is the largest of Minnesota state parks. There is something so unique about this first spot on the river where you can actually stand in this river and know that it's going on for another 2,300 miles and will eventually be a bigger part of the world when it hits the Gulf of Mexico.